Hi, greetings fellow travelers. Matt from William Henry with another edition of the William Henry Insider, a peek into or behind the curtain at the studio. Uh, I hope this message finds you well. And for this edition, I wanted to talk about a signature material from William Henry that is actually only William Henry's, and that is our Copper Wave Damascus. Um, real quick backstory, about 20 years ago, I was in Seiki City, Seiki City Japan, uh, it was the birthplace of the samurai swords, and there's still amazing cutlery being done hundreds of years later in that, in that town in Japan. Um, to learn the trade, to learn the craft, uh, to find uh, partners that could help me execute what my vision was. And I was in a small knife store and saw a traditional Japanese friction folder called a higonokami that had copper infused into the blade in the blade, not in the handle. And I thought that's really striking. And it just stayed with me. And a couple years later, um, with my uh, partner in Japan, we had developed the, the system and the supply chain to be able to do wave Damascus for the first time, combining these 55 or 67 different layers of steel with a core that had a great performance that created this amazing cutting edge, but then this undulating wave pattern throughout. Um, we were doing it with ZDP 189, we we're still doing it with ZDP and or VG 10, but we had that technique. And I simply said, hey, could we just take everything that we've learned over the last year, year and a half to do that, but do it with one of the three alloys being copper instead of a stainless or a nickel? Um, and uh, um, uh, he said, sure, we can try it. And uh, if you don't mind throwing a little money at it. And I said, well, here's the money. And uh, it took us a while, but we were able to execute this 55 layer billet with a VG5 core that we could heat treat to get to that 58, 59 Rockwell that you really want for great performance without having to bring that heat treat temperature so high that the copper in the sort of undulating waves would literally have melted out of the blade. So it wasn't easy and it took some doing, but we ended up with this beautiful signature look. And when you etch it and hand polish it back, that, that undulating line of sort of rough and ready copper intersecting the stainless steel, intersecting that harder core material that creates the edge is really distinctive. And I love being able to bring color um, into the blade without compromising its performance at all. So that is the brief history of Copper Wave Damascus. Um, we developed it just as an idea and uh, a lot of the stuff that we've developed over the years, we've certainly seen replicated and copied. And hey, hallelujah, that's a, it's a feather in the cap. Um, but I haven't seen anybody specifically do that um, yet, except for us. And uh, very proud of it. We don't do a lot of it, but when we add it to an addition, it always steps it off that much further because now you've got color running from the back to the front of the knife rather than a blade that's only going to be in silver, black, gray tones. So there you go. A little tip, and thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.